Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In a previous video I showed you how you can produce images like this using simple clipping and masking techniques. One of the subjects we covered was how we can soften the clipped edge of an item by blurring the layer that you put it on. I've since come up with a much better solution and that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. So to get started I'm just going to create a clip shape so for this I'm just going to use the ellipse tool. We drag out an ellipse then I'm going to drag another ellipse over the top just to create a clipping mask so we've got an item to work with. So get our selection tool, grab both items, come up to object, down to clip, over to set. So now we've got a clipped object. If you don't know anything about clipping or masking, watch the video in the link above and I'll run through everything you need to know. So as we discussed previously, we can now blur this object. The clipping mask keep this edge sharp, but we can blur the other side. So we can create some nice graduated shading, but sometimes we don't want such a sharp edge on the outside. The way we discussed in the uh, clipping video was to put it on a separate layer and blur the layer but I've since discovered a much better method. If we come up to Object, uh, come down to Objects to open up an Objects dialog box, this gives us a hierarchical look at what we've got uh, available to us. So at the moment we're on layer one and this is our path that we're using at the moment. And down here indicates that it's clipped. So it's got a clipping mask over the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this item selected we're then going to come up to group and group it on its own. So now we have a group containing one path. If we take this group, we can come down to the blurring and we can blur the group. So what we can do now is get this softened edge, but we can still use it as if it's a standard object. So now if we've got anything else, so let's change the colour. We put this one just to the back to demonstrate. So that's how you can create a softened edge to a clipped item. But what makes this method really powerful is because it's now a group and no longer just a clipped object, we can actually apply a second mask. So we can come up, we can draw out a second clipping mask, and then we can clip our grouped object but we need to make sure we're clipping the grouped object and not the path so easiest way to do that is select your group first then hold down shift and select your clipping mask now if we come up to object down to clip over to set you can apply your second clip this also works with masking as well as clipping so it does make it a really powerful method I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.